you just uh, moving abroad meant like integrating in society, finding a job, learning totally. the language and totally. just staying there. So yes. if you wanted to change, which eventually I did, and then I went to live to Portugal, then again, you had to find the job in that country, learn the language, get integrated into society. In this sense, remote work opened like completely new possibilities yes. because a mobility is now much easier. You don't need to find a job in a country where you would like to live. Exactly. That was not an option back then. It's for right. Most of the people. But, but now the, the thing of Nomad Digital, you can, let's say, work for a company from uh, Poland, Germany, totally. wherever. So now that, I mean, you do TED Talk, you, I mean, you evaluate in your job. And you even told me you work for government. So what exactly you do? Uh, being nomad digital and, and traveling, what you do? Yeah, so, you know, when I was traveling, uh, at some point I realized that uh, remote workers or digital nomads, we have an impact on the places where we go. And that impact can be both positive or negative. Uh, and I started to think how we can have a better impact, how we can have a positive impact and to leave something positive in the places where we go. At the same time, with COVID, uh, more and more countries started to be interested in attracting like remote workers and nomads. Right now, we have like more than 50 visas because countries want to bring those people that work remotely because that's, of course, economical uh, power. But also yes. there are another reasons like, uh, you know, cultural yes. exchange, innovation, investment. Yes. Yes. Uh, so. So many reasons, but uh, because all that is very new, so many destinations or governments or sometimes it's 